Welcome to Vermont. We are in Newfane, Vermont at Steepway Morgans and we're doing a workshop here for the Become the Center of Your Horse's Universe. So stay tuned. I'm going to share with you guys some of the tips and exercises that the students were working on today and hopefully you guys learn something new. Very nice. So what we see is a beautiful shape in the horse. We see the ear on the horse, which shows that he's kind of paying attention. He's focused. And we can see that Shirley's energy is pivoting forwards. So her energy is going forwards. And then when you're ready, Shirley, step back with your right foot. Good. And stay backwards with your right foot. So now you're pivoting backwards. Keep stepping. Yeah, good. Keep pivoting back. There, he noticed you. And he's going to come around and offer your hand. Very nice. Perfect. So that was beautiful and a really good example of forward energy versus backward energy does not have to be super big rhythm. It can be just as subtle and soft as that. But what we have to be aware of is if you're going to be that subtle in your body and use just pivoting, then you have to be that aware, right? And if you're not ready to be that aware, then you want to be kind to yourself and instead just teach your horse to pick up on bigger movements. So well done. That was beautiful. So here we see a little two-year-old horse that came to their first clinic and they're doing the square exercise, working on shaping and getting the horse to pay attention. So you can see in the beginning, the horse does a fair bit of looking out and is a little bit anxious. And the goal of a lot of the calm connection exercises with Harmony Horsemanship is about getting your horse to shape around you or draw to you. So uh, she's working on getting her horse to stay focused on her and not losing the attention going out the door. So there you can see the horse was a little bit distracted still um, and actually tripped because it was kind of distracted. But here you can see the shape is starting to get better with the horse. And by the end of the day, this horse was like a totally different horse. And there you can see the owner was able to keep the attention of the horse on them by noticing the ears of the horse and the shape of the horse. So that was a really good set here. And then here's a little look at one of the other exercises we did with her move with me and yield and practicing that horse going with us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and learned something. Remember to like, subscribe, and tell me what you think.